Hi, my name is Eric. I'm a writer here at Crutchfield, and today we're going to talk about how to choose the best turntable for you. There are some key parts that every turntable has, and this is where you're going to be able to notice differences as you move through the categories. For starters, you want a solid foundation. Uh, you don't want to transmit any kind of vibrations through the plinth or the feet. There are different ways to build that plinth that makes it more solid, anti-resonant, and it'll usually be thicker as you move up in price points. Sometimes you'll even see multiple levels, and that does not allow any kind of bad vibration to get into your music. And then, of course, a very important component is the motor. That's what turns the platter. And you'll notice there are two very distinct types, and that's one of the first decisions that you'll have to make. There are belt drive turntables where the motor is off to one side and a belt wraps around the platter, and that's what makes it spin. And a lot of people feel like that's a great way to go because that motor is isolated from the rest of the turntable, and that eliminates a lot of rumble and hum that they can hear. You'll also find plenty of audiophiles who like a direct drive turntable, and in a direct drive turntable, the motor is directly underneath the platter and spinning it directly, and that can eliminate any kind of wow and flutter or speed variation that can affect the way the music sounds to somebody who has very good hearing. Now, the motor provides the juice, but it's the spindle and the bearing that actually turn the platter. Uh, you want that platter to be heavier and you want it to be anti-resonant. So you'll see many different materials that will be used to bring about those properties. Uh, you'll see aluminum, you'll see heavier aluminum, and uh, then you'll even get up into some acrylic or something called Delrin, and those are some of the really high-end materials that uh, kind of look cool, honestly, and also make your records sound better. And then the part that you place on the record, the very, very important part of the turntable, is the tone arm, which also contains the cartridge, which has what we used to colloquially call the needle, but it's actually a stylus. The quality that you want out of a tone arm is you want it to be rigid, but lightweight. Aluminum is what you'll see as the most common on the lower price tables, and then it starts going up into carbon fiber, which is a little more expensive, but it's worth it. A well-built cartridge is going to give you better channel separation, it's going to give you a wonderful frequency response, and the effect that that's going to have as you listen is that you're going to get a lot more detail, and it's going to sound a lot more like what the original musicians intended. There are moving magnet cartridges, which are the most prominent type that you'll see, but there are some other types called moving coil cartridges that uh, many people feel give an even greater level of detail, and that's something you can upgrade yourself if you're interested. One of the next major decisions you'll have to make is do you want a manual or an automatic turntable? A manual turntable, you place the needle on the record yourself, it plays through a side, and then you come over and you take the needle back off of the record and return the tone arm to its rest yourself. A fully automatic turntable, you push the button, it's going to place the needle on the record, play it through, and return the tone arm to rest once it's done playing. There are some semi-automatic models that will do part of that for you. The reason some people don't like the automatic functions is because they feel it has an opportunity to introduce some noise. That's up to you. So you will see that some turntables have a built-in phono preamp. The signal that comes out of a cartridge that's on a turntable is a very low voltage signal that needs to be amplified. There has to be a phono preamplifier in your system somewhere. It's very common for audiophiles to have an outboard component. Sometimes there is one built into your receiver that you're plugging into. Uh, if you don't have either of those things or you don't know, then you might want to look for a turntable that has a built-in phono preamplifier because that can be switched on or off. If you need it, you have it. Okay, I know that was a lot of stuff to remember, so if you want a little advice as you're building your own system, feel free to contact us. Our knowledgeable advisors can help you sort through all of these different choices that you have to make and settle on the turntable that is exactly right for you.